G'day. I want to talk about what I call an evergreen content sandwich formula. When it comes to creating regular content, a lot of businesses struggle with that. One of the best ways to get around it is to create what we call evergreen content. That is simply content that is still as relevant today as it is in maybe two or three or five years time. But where people come unstuck is in a situation like now where everything has changed due to COVID, they think that evergreen content is no longer relevant. But it is. The core of that evergreen content, if you've done it properly, is still relevant. So an example of evergreen content which would apply to any business is something like uh, customer service or management. The core of that topic stays the same. The things that are important stay the same. What changes is what COVID has done to how we look at customer service or where that customer service takes place. And so to create that evergreen content sandwich formula, what you're really going to do is you're going to take that core content that you've written and put a lot of time into about customer service, for example. Then you add a bit at the top about the current uh, landscape due to COVID. Then you add a little bit at the bottom that talks about where we go after COVID. And all of a sudden, you've got a content sandwich, I call it, where the content in the middle is evergreen. That doesn't change. That's the, bait, the bulk of what you talk about. The bit at the top and the bit at the bottom, the slices of bread, if you like, those bits are changed. Those bits are updated. All of a sudden now, you've got a piece of content that is super relevant to the current environment, the current context that we're living in. No matter what business you're in, you can always find evergreen content, evergreen subjects to talk about that don't change significantly. HR, management, those issues generally don't change. Sales strategies don't change a lot. And a lot of businesses, a lot of industries, let's face it, there's not a lot of significant changes. So even if you're talking about a significant change or a new way to disrupt your industry, chances are, in most industries, even that core content is still gonna be evergreen. So again, put a little bit of COVID current context on top, put a little bit of what the future might hold on the bottom, and there you have an evergreen content sandwich. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.